Next, we will we'll discuss um, uh, the Quadas tool, uh, a very often used tool to appraise uh, diagnostic test studies, diagnostic accuracy studies. You should have a brief opinion about the different dimensions, what, what this Quadas tool instrument is and how it functions. A Quadas here is a table, summary table of the uh, Quadas instrument. And these are the different studies uh, appraised, evaluated, study one through study 11. The first study, uh, uh, th th this tool has different dimensions, namely uh, patient selection, index test, reference standard, and flowing timing. So in, in these, under these four categories, you uh, evaluate the bias, the quality of the uh, study, of the um, appraised study. This first study has, is categorized as low risk considering patient selection low risk considering index as well as reference standard and flow and timing. As you see, some studies from the 11 studies reviewed here in this table, some of them have low risk quality, that means high risk of bias, uh, in the different domains in flow and timing here in this case. So let me briefly go through these different domains. First of all, you, uh, you have, now you should be able to tell how uh, the quadras works. It is using a scale of three uh, point levels, huh? uh, low risk, unclear risk or high risk. So it has three options. And then we have the patient selection domain where we have these three questions, but these are modifiable, of course. You can modify it to yourself. Patient selection, was the patient selection appropriate? Uh, did the study avoid inappropriate exclusions, et cetera? Then the index test, because we need to have an index test to diagnose. Our index test in the previous example was uh, the CPK, for example. This, we use the CPK to put a label, but actually the 100% correct diagnosis for muscular dystrophy would be what? A genetical analysis, a biopsy, muscle biopsy, for example. This would be the gold standard. So always you need to have a gold standard to decide on whether the condition exists or not. In the, so the index test, the test you are using, the test you have selected in your study, should also be appraised. Low risk, high risk, unclear risk again. The reference standard, the gold standard, it should be also a very valid and useful gold standard. As we said, for uh, diagnosing muscular dystrophy, the gold standard might be muscle biopsy, whereas for uh, infections, for infection, the gold standard is considered as the culture, of course. So instead of using a blood test, if you culture, but culturing is more expensive and requires more time, of course. So therefore, that's the reason why we try to find uh, some index test which help us for rapid diagnosis. And finally, the fourth dimension is uh, patient flow and timing. Also, uh, at this point, we have to, uh, in this category, we have to consider different aspects of patient flow and timing, how the, uh, the patients were included in the study and uh, did all the, those who, include, who were included also included in the analysis or were there too many dropouts? Uh, 
did all the patients receive the same index test and same reference standard? And this kind of questions we ask to judge on the quality uh, of the study from this aspect. So these are the four main domains of uh, Quadras two. There is one, but there is one another last domain, namely the applicability. Applicability is not considered under the, it's not discussed under the uh, bias, risk of bias domain. Uh, it is, it should be seen as a separate domain. And here we look whether these, uh, this, the patients or this test, this condition is applicable for our uh, own practice. And there are the, the three uh, questions here are included patients. Was the diagnostic test evaluated in an appropriate spectrum of patients? That means not just florid or asymptomatic patients. Second, index tests, its conduct or interpretation and the reference standard, are they applicable uh, for our general population? Here also, the uh, scale used to answer is the same, low, high, or unclear. Okay, that much is enough, I think, about the Quadras instrument. Um, I will stop recording and make a summary then thereafter. Stop recording.